All right, so I want to solve this trig equation between negative pi and positive pi. So if I bring this to this side, it will be impossible to factor it completely because I'll still have sines and tans in the same equation. So the first thing I actually want to do is get rid of this tan. I want to convert this tan into sine over cos. The next thing I want to do is just multiply these two signs on the top here. So it's going to become sine square x over cos x equals sine square x. And then I'm going to multiply the cos on the other side because I don't like having trig terms in my denominator. Now I can bring it all to one side. And now I can factor this. So I can common factor out sine square x, and I'm left with 1 minus cos x equals to 0. Now I can split this into two equations, sine square x equals to 0, or 1 minus cos x equals to 0. So over here, sine x is just going to equal to 0. And over here, cos x is just going to equal to 1. I can't use cast rule to solve these because the values are zero and one. I just have to use my sine and cosine graphs. So let's use a sine graph. We actually have from negative pi to positive pi, so I'll extend it a bit on this side. So I know that a sine graph goes like this, and then like this, and this is two pi, which means that this is pi over here. And if I extend it on this side a bit as well, because we want to go from negative pi to pi, this point over here is negative pi. So I want to find my solutions between negative pi and pi where sine x is zero. So I have one, two, three points. So x equals to negative pi, zero, and pi. And I'll do the same thing over here for cos x equals to one. So if I draw my cos graph, That's two pi, this is one by the way. This is pi, and then if I extend it on this side, be negative pi. So the only place where cos x equals to one is just over here and x is zero. But we've already included this solution over here, so there's no need to even repeat it. My final three solutions for this, this question are just negative pi, zero, and positive pi.